Here it comes. Oh! Give you guys a bit of a rundown on what's happening because logistically I'm a very, very long way away from home. So far it's lived up to every single expectation I've ever had of the place. Wahoo, dog tooth tuna, yellowfin tuna. It's been absolutely insane. If you missed out on yesterday's episode, please go back, check that out for yourself because it was absolute mayhem. Unfortunately today we do have a little bit more wind so I'm going to be limited to where I can fish on this reef but I feel like when you're this far out you've just got to think about a few more things with current you'll be able to find fish regardless of how limited you are so i'm going to start with some yellowfin tuna i think there's a few out there i can see some birds i can't see anything busting up but sometimes that is even bigger fish which we hope for so i'm going to put the time and effort in maybe bring out the poppers and the stick baits and try and raise them up but when we get there we'll see how deep they are it's even possible to jig them so um look open mind today it's a new day and I'm in the world of giants, so let's go get it done. Oh, jeez. I can't see what that is, but it's big. I think we're going to be fine today, fellas. <laughs> Why have you not sent it? There you go. That's a bit better. Oh, he's got a big man. He's got a very big man. God, this guy's battling me. What's going on, Bert? Oh, fellas! What a start! <laughs> You're going to get all of it out of your system. All of it. Oh, there's a monster down here. Absolute monster not a shark either that's a mega mega wahoo I'm limited to where I can fish and here I am first fish of the day with a beautiful wahoo <laughs> this is madness but I see you buddy Let's go to work. Okay, so what I've, what I've kind of figured is I've got this one corner to work and um, I'm gonna try and find a depth around that 40, kind of like 40, 45, that way from casting in towards the edge. I'll still have a chance at a doggy, but I can also fire a couple of casts downwind with myself and chase wahoo. So most importantly, I won't try and like maximize my chance of catching a fish because I'm in just a limited little zone also going to try and stay out of the wind for you guys because I, I know what it's like watching wind blowing footage but it is what it is in a way and i hope it is wind, like i hope it isn't too annoying for you but um look we're in a pretty good depth there's a few fish down there i'm gonna keep an eye on the sounder as well if i do see something cool jigs going down oh good fish down there i'm gonna nail him on the head Oh, baby. Jesus.
Jeez. Oh. Take this. Jesus. What the? Wow, I've hooked a bus. We got a stalemate here. Only so much of that you can hang on to, hey. The hands. You know when you think you're strong and you think you kind of got a good hand grip and well let's go again. Here we go, here we go. Here's one. Oh my gosh. Here he comes, here he comes. Big one behind the boat, big one behind the boat, just coming in here. Come on buddy, you've seen that. Yeah, right. yeah he's seen it. Oh, he missed it. Okay, here we go, here we go. You know you want to see it. Yeah. Oh no! I knew he was gonna... Yes! Yes! Oh! <laughs> wow! At the boat! <laughs> oh, mad scared!
Oh, on it, on it, on it. Yeah, got him, got him. Yeah, yes. Oh my God. We're going around. Oh, he's cutting through the sharks. What a maniac. It's big and I feel like it's just gonna light it up. It's just big head shakes, big head shakes. We're going again, fellas, we're going again. Come on, give me a rocket ship. I dare ya, I dare ya. Come on, mate. Settle down. Jeez. This guy is a... Oh. You're kidding. There's one just here. Another wahoo just here. Big one. Really big one. Oh, and another one. We're going to mark this. Come on, mate. You're done. You're done. Does not get much better than that. I really hope these other hoofs stay around the boat. Because I want to go to work on it, hey. Speed demons. Can hear me i always fish in zero to five knots so it was about time i actually copped a bit of wind like, i get comments all the time saying the weather is so beautiful where you fish not today but today we're catching wahoo and that doesn't happen so we're out here we're going to work about to just start casting That's a monster! Just come to the boat and you should be sweet. Watch which way you want to go, down? Oh no, oh no. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, I love you for that. Okay. Either way, if he pops off now, no biggie. That was just, 
truly stunning. <laughs> Up there with one of the coolest things I've ever done. Does it get any better than that? Woo! All right. Ah. I see you. Big dog. Oh, yeah, you're lit. You're lit, aren't you? Don't go that way. Cast this way. Getting me, Basti goes flat, there's water around the boat. Get away from it. He's mine. No. No. Get away. Holy Boy. sh look at him all. That's a good fish too. I try to do the right thing by this fish. All right, buddy. Don't bite me. Good boy. Godspeed, you're a good one. Come on. Don't do it, don't do it. Shit. think he's sweet. <coughs> oh! Big fin, big fin on it. Oh, that was a good fin. Great fish. Come on, baby. All the way to the boat. Great fish, that one. Okay, they're here. I'm just blind casting in about 200 meters of water, right, oh, bird? I don't need you right now. Okay, we should hook up this cast. Holy nautical, baby. Oh yeah, on it, on it, on it. Here they come, all the way to the boat. Yes! No! Oh. <laughs> I'll keep them around. Oh my lord! These things are mental! They're still under it, I can see them under it. <laughs> Come on, where's the big dogs at? Oh no. Oh, here we go, here we go. No thanks. You. Go away. What are you doing out here? 
Oh my gosh. Oh. Woo. I wish I had someone filming with a hookless stick bait right now. Oh, jeez. Don't do it, Rainbow Runner. It's not worth your life. All right. They're still on it. He was pretty big. Oh, gee, oh my gosh. That was mental. As hectic as that is, I just know that if I hook one of those fish, those two sharks are gonna absolutely maul it. And just, there's no point doing that. I've had a bit of fun with them. I know they're here. Well, this particular school anyway, is just moving up and down this point. So I'll leave them alone for a little bit. I'm gonna go in and sit, keep casting along that 40 50 meter mark i'm in about 200 now i want that 40 50 so i do have a chance of a doggy um and hopefully less chance of these sharks because obviously they do love tuna but hopefully a mixed bag in there doggy and when the tuna come back up again i'll sneak back out catch one quickly move away from the sharks but it's pretty nautical so we have to be very careful as well Surf's up, baby. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it jumped out of the water. Oh, that was a good one. All the way. Come on. Why is there so many? Where's the monsters at? just attack the bubble trail they're being very well behaved oh get my lines hang early mate that puts a smile on my face Clean, hooked, beautiful fish, no sharks. See you, big guy. I feel like the school's gone, I've gone past it, but I'm gonna just keep casting because there might be just a big one out wide. We've hit a full reset at the moment. I have John back on board with me this afternoon. John is Damon's dad, if you're wondering. Um, he's been on Odyssey for the morning and I actually raced back in. I did my flat stuff, did a bit of jigging and it was just, just wasn't on. So we've restocked in Mad Scads. John's gonna run the Mad Scad 150. A bit of a troll back up to kind of Whoville. And if he hooks up, I'm gonna turn around and start sending my 150 back into him. See if we can get a double hookup. We can get, sort out a double hookup for the afternoon. It'll be absolutely incredible. So uh, I'm going to turn around now and just do about six to eight knots. Try and get him sorted, find this school, and then get casting again.
That's a whole lot of wahoo. Oh. Yep. Speak of the devil. Oh yeah. John is definitely hooked up. Still got him? Oh yeah, he got him. Swim in the water. Come on. And what we saw before was when I was hooking up. <laughs> that was always mates with them. That's what we want. I want his mates. Might need to tighten up a little bit, John. Is it diving deep? Like deep, deep? I'm gonna go after it because in case it's a doggy and it's gone deep on you, like it might be a tuna, but it also might be a dog. So I don't want it to get us. If you just wind, I'm just gonna slowly poke out just so he doesn't get on the, that edge. You're about there, up and down. Okay. Oh, he's got a shark on him. Shark on him. Oh, no. If you can't go hard, go hard. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, go away. Oh, man. You bastard animal. Abs, oh no, he's gonna. It was a beautiful wahoo. Um... That sucks. I wish I could just. Wish I could do bad things to those sharks. That is a full on shark NATO down there. How are you feeling, John? I need my groin protector. Oh, you do? Do you want one? You got one. I do. You're welcome to take it if you want. Oh, I only got the one. That's all right. I've got a young groin. <laughs> I'm not going to see my wife for a few days, so it's totally fine. The day before, I'd say I need it, but I'd recover by the time I get home, so it's all good. John's hooked up again, another good who, we just saw him. Mad scads are just an absolute weapon. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm all hooked up too. We got a doubles here, John. Go for it. We got a double! <laughs> Would you my under or over? I'm on top! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna uh oh we've got a full wrap around here. Oh shit! Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh I pulled mine. You still got yours? Yep. Oh! Wahoo at the boat! You got a monster. Come on, baby. You know you want it. I kind of lost him. I can't see him in the glare. Hit it right there. Oh, wow! Right at the boat. Oh, 
I'm gonna give this guy a bit of hell here because oh, I pulled it. Wow! This is mayhem! Mine did a bit of a half a leap out there and his tail appeared. I think it was a shark that daddy got behind. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. The rest you get. <laughs> right, go you're, gonna, you're gonna have a rest, John. You're in Odyssey. Odyssey's just over the reef break there. John was in Odyssey 10 minutes ago. He's had two, two wahoo. Taken in a few deep ones. Wow. Flying fish. Well, if he's taken off, oh yeah, then I should be about where they are. Yes! Yes! I think that's that's a tuna, that's not good. Oh my gosh! That's not good, my hand is on fire! Come on baby! Don't dive! Don't dive! Yeah, so I'm just gonna let him go. That's not a good thing to go down there, mate. Oh, I think I pulled him, which is the best best case possible there jeez cooked my hand that spool oh no we're two mad scats down wow lucky you know someone who makes them hey <laughs> They're very fortunate that John knows someone who makes mad scads because the boys could be on for the afternoon session here. Jeez. I'm gonna go after him, alright? Gaining a bit of line on him. I'm getting him. Get him, John. Get him. Come on. We could have this one. It's going to cause a bit of a scene. Dill. Just get everything ready for a photo while he causes a scene. Beautiful, John. Send him out. Send him, mate. Love your work, hey? We won. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> Success. It is. That's a beautiful little dog. Hey, we will take that. I was wondering why he was diving. Oh, just in time. Oh, 
Look at how tasty this little critter's gonna be. What a way to finish an afternoon. Beautiful little dog tooth tuna on the darty. This guy is gonna be so incredibly tasty. The boys are already run out of that one that I've caught a couple days ago and just topped up the fridge here. Perfect way to finish the afternoon. Hey mate, how good. That's the size you want to eat. Yeah, that was Kurt walking up the stairs saying this is this is a you issue. I'll tell you what, that dog fish. First thing we're gonna do is get this thing straight on a plate. So I've taken the fillets off him, take the bloodline out. Couple of very happy stingrays down there. Three very happy stingrays down there, doing their thing. There you go, fellas. Enjoy. Hit that. But the day continues. Um, someone put me sushi knife and backwards, but it's alright. Don't look at me. Um, I <laughs> think that dog tooth was about an hour ago living a beautiful life and um that range pelagic pursuit yeah and now he's he made a bad call and now he's mine which turned out to be a great call for us oh yeah like i'm gonna put this back on my head in a second because to show you how different this fish is He's firm and everything, eh? Like just the perfect, the perfect size fish. Couple steaks, Harrison. Hey. Oh, they have the veg. Yeah. Steak and veg, mate. So on tonight's dinner on Odyssey, we have a perfect doggy medallion. Harrison's kitchen. What's that? Bit of oil. Poor man's oil. You know, just a. A little squirt. Just to make it. And then what do you got there? A bit of rosemary to go yeah. with it. Yeah. I got Mary's sister. Beautiful. You heard of her, Rose? Yeah. Come on. Kurt is a big fan of Matt's cooking show. Because, uh, where do you live, Kurt? Perth. Perth. And there's, there's not many doggies there. There's not many doggies at all. I've had so. more doggy in two days than I've had in the last five years. No worries, mate. Back Look at that little. I don't oh, even know how you'd present it. Like, really? What do you just do a square like that? There it is, fellas. That's how you want to finish a day. 